Got stuff everywhere. What's up guys, it's me Eric B and right now I am currently in the middle of an oil change on my R6. I didn't have intentions on doing a full oil change video just because there's so many of them you know, out on the internet right now. If you go check out Motonocity, he has a really good one on his newer version R6 and I mean goes through everything. It's a pretty good video. I just wanted to show you real quick on what I did to you know, get everything off and, uh, and get the whole process done. And the big kicker was the oil filter and I just want to show you a couple things that I did in order to make life a little easier with that. All right, so as you can see, I pretty much already have the side fairing off already. Um, everything is pretty much done. All I have to do is put oil in because I've already drained it. I've already got the new oil filter on. And like I said before, definitely check out some of these other videos or Motonocity's video um, if you want the, the full rundown. So there's my fairing sitting over there on the ground. And if you come around here up top to pull it off, there's gonna be approximately six um, bolts on the side of the fairing that you're gonna need to pull off. And then there's one on the very bottom under there by the uh, catalytic converter, which makes seven. And then also there's gonna be two fasteners, one here and one here, which I have these pieces sitting on the ground over here. And once you pull those fasteners out, it's gonna show one bolt that you'll have to pull out right there. And then let's see here, come in here. There's a fastener that goes right there that goes on the inside of the fairing. And then you're gonna have approximately three more fasteners on the inside. Um, and I'm reaching around like this as if you were looking around the back of the, uh, the fairing here. And that should be it and you're able to pull it off. I know it's kind of weird without actually seeing it done, but I'm just explaining it to you real quick. And like I said before, you can go check out those other videos and um, it'll, it'll get more in depth. All right, so once you get the fairing off and everything, you wanna go ahead and get your uh, oil pan and drain the oil. And this is gonna be the oil drain plug right there. And uh, once you drain that oil, then you wanna get to your filter, which is right here on the side, which is a weird location on the R6 because I think on the R1 and even my Gixxer 1000, the oil filter is right here in the front. And I thought at first that that was where, you know, where it was at and that wasn't the case. So once you do that, you're gonna have to disconnect the, uh, the linkage here for the shift rod. Just lean that over to the side so it gives you better access there to the uh, oil filter. All right, so in order to get this oil filter off, um, you're gonna need a special tool from Yamaha to get it off because it is really difficult to get in here um, with your hands or even any kind of oil filter tool and um, take that oil filter off. Now, if you guys have seen any of the other videos, um, you know, you can kind of jerry-rig it and take a, uh, a flat tip screwdriver and you can punch it through the oil filter and um, with a hammer and then, you know, put some leverage on it and take it off. I mean, that's one way of doing it. It doesn't matter if you destroy the oil filter because you're replacing it anyway. But uh, I've tried that and then I tried another way just to make sure um, that I could get it off using a tool. And I was able to actually get this on it and uh, take it off. So what you're gonna wanna do is there is a, it's kinda like a, a little plastic piece or like a heat shield right where your kickstand sensor and everything is. And if I zoom in here, there's uh, some clips here and you're able to just, you're able to just pop this thing off. So if you undo it right there, and then do it up top right here, like so, and then just slide that out. You're able to just slide that on out. A second here, gotta move these hoses out the way. That one, that one, and boom, back out here. This piece right here comes right out. And then once you move these hoses out of the way, that gives you more access to this, uh, to the oil filter here. And what I was able to do, I was able to kind of wiggle that in there and uh, put that on there and you know loosen up the, the oil filter. So that's one way of doing it just in case you guys wanted to go that route. And yes, as you can see, I went with the k and oil filter and there's the part number right there in case you guys are wondering. And as you can see, it has the, uh, the little nut there on it and it makes it like 10 times easier. You just take a 17 millimeter uh, socket throw that bad boy on there and it's easy to uh, take off and put on from you know here on out. All right, and just in case you guys are wondering, I am using uh, Mobile One 10W40 oil. Um, I've used things like uh, Motul in the past on 
like my Gixxer and my uh, FZ10. I just didn't like the way that the shifting felt when I went to Motul over the, over the Mobile One. So that's why I'm using the oil that I'm using. All right guys, so on this bike, there is no sight glass to check the oil level. Um, just come around on the side where you fill the oil up and there is a, uh, a dipstick, believe it or not. All right, so just in case you guys wanted to see, there it is. And that is how you check the oil on this bike. All right guys, I know this is a super quick video on this whole process. I know I didn't run through pulling the fairing off and draining the oil and everything like that. But uh, my big concern was really showing you another method of uh, getting to that oil filter so you can get it off because it can be a pain in the butt. And to show you that the bike does have a, a dipstick because it doesn't have a sight glass. So if this is your first time changing the oil on this particular bike, now you know. Also be sure to use your owner's manual to uh, get the proper torque specifications on the drain nut. And that's it, pretty much do everything in reverse order, get everything buttoned up, and you're good to go. If you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments section below. And if you're liking what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.